I'm so happy that we're getting questions from young men who want to learn ejaculatory yes. control. I'm so yes, proud of them. Yes, yes, yes. So this exciting. Is, this is what we're waiting for. We want you guys to come in and find out what's going on and how to learn about your own sexuality. Just like women need to learn about theirs. Same thing. You need the same education. That so what doing. happens? It, it most the young men that are writing it are saying they get an okay. erection okay. and then they pop off in two seconds if they're touched or they go in a stroke and they can't... The minute the woman touches their penis, boop, they've ejaculated. <laughs> and so We've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've had that happen many times. But here's the fact. First, I want to say to the young men who are having a premature ejaculation, whatever you want to call it, fast coming before there's any sexual action, or the other thing is that the minute they penetrate, boop, they're yeah. off. Because you're in the holiest of holies. We've done so much work to get there. Now you're there, and it blows your mind a little. Well, it's not easy to get laid in this culture. <laughs> we all know that. It's a lot of fancy food. Okay, so here's what happens. They've been masturbating for their teenage, youth, you know, young 20s, whatever. And watching internet porn. And fast, very fast. Before massive. they get caught. And there you have it. They've trained themselves to come fast by the way they've been masturbating. And the process of healing is the reverse. They train themselves to come, they no, to sustain higher levels of sexual arousal. So they have to feel hot and learn to do whatever it is. Some guys clench the pelvic floor muscle. Some guys relax the pelvic floor muscle. I don't recommend thinking about baseball or counting. Yeah, they always say, think about football. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Focus on your body. Focus on what Even if you have to clench your dick. You know what I mean? Have you ever seen guys do that? They'll clench and be like, oh, they well, don't come. No, Whatever you have to do. Masters and Johnson used to, and the woman had to train the man, wouldn't you know? Of course. And so that when he, he was getting close to coming, they would say, uh, I'm going to come. And then she would pinch the top of his dick. And, and I love the part where they said, and some women had a little anger, and they were <laughs> pitching too hard. I can, so he's about, I'm about to come. I'll never come again. But you can. You can kind of pinch up the hole, hold back. There are a lot of techniques. And what, what blew my mind is I went back to Orgasms for Two. Her book, which is brilliant, and it's now an ebook. It's now it's an ebook. It's going to be an, an audio, um, audio book in the next few weeks. It didn't it's take off, it, and it took, se it took uh, Sex for One. Uh, almost 10 years before it sold a million copies. But So you see, in this culture, masturbation, how to have good sex... Sex information is black. It's very, very... If it was pornography... Unwelcome. They want you to watch porn and be a jerk-off, which is what you are. And the porn industry is thriving. And we're still battling to separate ourselves from porn because we talk about explicit sex education and information. What, it isn't porn. It is sex you know, my, information. Whenever anyone asks us, like, oh, that's porn. You have explicit sex ed material. And I, my response is always, if it was porn, we'd be making a lot more money. If it was porn, we'd be rich. Exactly. <laughs> Hello. So I copied that section out of the book, and I put it into the, in, you, you, you know, that. A little that, blog post. Yeah. And, and it so was break a, it down for us. What it was, was an essay I wrote ages and ages and ages ago. And so it's an awareness of how your your dick functions. You know when the when the, when the semen is coming into your. You can penis. feel it. Yeah. Yes, and you know when you have to stop pumping. You stop. You maybe press a little bit or press the perineum. That that's the space between your penis and the anus. The slang term is your taint. I hate that. I know, just, but they just so they know. Well, press there. And watch your breathing. You can start taking deep breaths and relaxing. Now, you will lose your erection just a little. And that's okay. It goes okay. down just a bit. Then you continue the process. And this is repetition. Until you can actually actually feel this moment of, oh, oh, stop it. Stop it. You don't have to go there. You don't have to just follow through. You can stop it. I think they call that jacking an edge. With edging. Edging. Yes. Edging an orgasm. Yes. Like you're edging. getting there and you're so edging. You you're feel edging. you come up and then yeah. you back off. Then you come up again and you back off. And every time you back off, it gets more powerful. So here's the thing that I also want to tell these young men. Women do not come from a hard penis thrusting in and out alone. Of, in out of in and out of their vaginas. It doesn't work for us. What we need is clitoral stimulation. That's why most women come from oral sex. The majority if of women still come from oral sex. You keep your tongue wet. 
and relax. And your fingers lubed. And maybe not do vaginal penetration unless you know how. But the reason oral sex works for most women is that she's getting clitoral stimulation and it's with a tongue, not a hand which you're going <laughs> But it's great to have both. I mean, I love it all. Both, yes, but you have to be more skilled. You have to be more skilled. So the oral skills and the manual skills, and then if you could have dick skill on top of it, you're the full package. There it is. But you know? in the meantime, where you're practicing your sustaining an erection, do your oral sex. Do your manual sex. Let your let let yourself cut it, cut yourself some slack. Yeah. Your tongue and your fingers are perfect sex organs, and it's the combination orgasm. Mm -hmm. It's clitoral stimulation with penal, penal vaginal penetration. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. Say it from the top. It's, the, so we finally reached the point where we have to say it's clitoral stimulation with vaginal, vaginal penetration. penetration. Okay? Now, we, can, we, we, we love you at coming in and asking questions, and we encourage you to continue to do so. So, guys, stay with us, Dodson and Ross, and you'll turn out to be fabulous lovers.